Hey, how's it going everybody? This is John Clark with Kinetic. I know it's been a little bit, but I've been fortunate enough to been back to work. Anyway, back to the videos and back to my Dante X32 kind of stuff. In this video, it's gonna be really easy. We're going to set up a Sure Digital ULXD kit with our Behringer X32. Now, everything I'm gonna show you in this video, the ways that I set this up and do it, works with all Sure Digital stuff, pretty much Axiants or any Dante compatible Sure device. Remember to like and subscribe. All right, so it is important to note that within the X32, you don't have the ability to patch your Dante devices. You can select the card and then where the card kind of lands onto your inputs, but no Dante routing can happen on the console. You have to do that with Dante controller, which I've covered in some other videos, but um, all of the Dante patching will happen in the laptop. And then on the console, what we're going to do is simply assign the card to our inputs. All right, taking a look at the back, I'm coming out of the primary port on my X Dante card into a network switch. This way, if there's other Dante devices and things like that, I can just jump right into the switch. Then the red cable is coming out of that into my ULXD primary port. And then I have the blue cable coming out of the switch into a USB-C to Cat5 adapter into my laptop so that I can patch everything with Dante controller. Okay, so the first thing we wanna do here is we are going to go into Dante controller. And we see our Midas M32 here and we see our ULXDs here as well. Now, the transmitter in this situation is the ULXD. There's our quad. Now, I have four options because it's a ULXD quad, and I'm going to patch these to the first four inputs of that card. I should see a green check mark to indicate that I've done everything there correct. And that's it. That's it as far as the Dante patching is concerned. Now, you could patch it to other, other parts of the card if you wanted, but for you know, keeping everything linear, I just went one to four to one to four. Okay, so now we need to route the card to our channels. So I'm going to go to routing, input, and now local one through eight is selected, but we're going to change that to card one through eight. Back to home. All right, now I'm gonna take microphone. This is paired to Channel one on my ULXD rack and check, 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 check. We see clear as day that it is jumping on this channel right here, which is channel one. That's because we set card one through eight. So our first channels here should be representative of what are the first eight channels on the card. As this is just four uh, channels on here, the first four are patched in. So the next mic, Check, 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 check. Now that's number two. And if I bring them up, you should see it jumping. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now both of the microphones, this is one and two. If I wanted to, I could go three and four, and then those would go to channels three and four. Pretty easy stuff. And again, that's all completely digital, ran off Cat5. There's no XLR in this current configuration. That was pretty easy, right? I just wanted to emphasize that the same process I used in this video can be used for any Dante-enabled shirt devices. Again, thanks for watching. My name's John. Have a great day. Happy mixing. Remember to like and subscribe.